X Games mode. Got the goods in here. Like 90s and early 2000s lesbians? Yeah, yeah. And then my mom started helping them pick the stuff, and then this is what everyone had this right. purology shit. Yeah. And then we went to like a Redken studio or something. Oh, okay. And that's all my mom used for a while. Um, and then right now, where we're at in history is the living proof. So this has been a timeline of my life through shampoo and conditioners not as artfully done I'll say but I had a lot of awesome products because they had a wonderful selection of detanglers for children I was homeschooled my hair down to here that's a different story but I had a lot of awesome products also had a lot of swab because my grandma for some reason had a fascination with buying like a lot of swab products for everyone everyone had a there were lots of products in the shower but then we have Testament which that was my mom's favorite replacement for Pantene, which she used to like until she had a allerg allergic re react to it in the hospital when I was born. This smells like a forbidden fruit. I always wanted Pantene and my mom was like, well, we can't have it because my eyes will swell shut. Then you've got my teenage years. This is my rebellion of shampoo. Like this is what I'm like, I'm doing something different for myself. Oh, and then I found dry shampoo after years of dumping baby powder into my hair. I literally used to carry a jug of baby powder around school. You know, they had that at like Urban Outfitters for a really long time, forever. Do you know how far the closest Urban Outfitters was to my house? Mine was literally in, a, in an order on the shelf. Oh, so what, what, fun talking about it. See, if it's not coincidentally in order on a shelf, then I mean, I don't know what you're. This is, thank you. This is my channel. So yeah. Um, uh, okay. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. It's Friday. It's Friday. I was a sprinkles guy when I was younger with ice cream, so I appreciate this. You look like a sprinkles guy. Fun fact number eight. Did you know that there are only three days left? <sighs> this is my impression of me when my mom says I can't have any more CBD gummies. The feds want me. My own mother fears me. Recently in my life, I've been devoting a lot of mental energy to determining whether or not I am real.
could party in the night to that. <laughs> Zaza, straight from the Mada, and you know what? McDonald's. Dolce, why don't you introduce yourself to the mm -hmm. class? Okay? Hi, my name's Dolce with two eyes. I feel anxious when I'm high. <laughs> headache of my life last night. I thought I was going to die at like 3 o'clock in the morning. And there's nothing worse than thinking you're going to die at 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 o'clock in the morning is the worst time to think you're going to die because all you can think about is how you're dying. I need to drink water. I get my vaccine today. So if you see me, I'll be like this. This is what I look like pre-vaccinated. Anything starts to grow. Well, don't know why. It's fucking nice. This is a wall. This is a shit. Shit is a hospital. It's so that they can implant me and then take me in the back, put me in a bed, right? Implant me? Yeah, with the chip or whatever. The chip? Hmm? I hope it's a chip. I hope it tastes like sour cream and onion. <laughs> That's where they store the vaccine. Well. That's how they mix the vaccine up. They have to like spin it around in a circle before they give it to you. And that, that there's a tube that goes down yeah. underneath yeah. the parking garage. And then they like pull it out of the pull it out of the stream. Mm -hmm. And then they just push it in there. shopped on Shein before, could use a lot of stuff from there. I don't know what. Oh, I'm 
back stuff. Halfway. Halfway there. Like this girl's definitely having reactions. She's like twitching out in the shampoo aisle, whatever. That's just me, baby. I was running through the course of my blood veins. Jeff Bezos is my father. Beep beep. The test came back positive. I'm pregnant. He is the father. It's Elon Musk's baby. It's upside down. It's an M. All I have to do is pee, but I will not go back into that bathroom. No, no ma'am. I'm glad I got vaccinated before I went in the first time. Woo! Sweet doggy. Sorry, Kissy Keegan. Hello sharks. Let me show you what a post-pandemic vaccinated hot girl white boy I think I don't know these crazy kids summer looks like. Innovation and style. Every week I come to this spot just to hear this woman play. And right now she's playing the Beatles, but just now she was playing Despacito. That's my favorite song to hear. This was $16.
going to the store to get pierogi ingredients. Got my babushka on tight, and I'm ready to rock and roll. This is my Tumblr egg. Tumblr oh, galaxy. galaxy yeah, the galaxy energy bars. This guy. She's got many faces. This is my favorite egg of all because it's perfect in every way. This one says it's Reed the F baby. That one's special as well. Egg. Gay egg. Straight egg. Kelly green egg. Speckled with blue. Catch the detail. That is way too pretty to be a straight egg. Gradient egg. That one's gorgeous. Eggs. Eggs. Dirty bong. Well, Target's closed. First time in history that they closed on Easter Sunday. Here you go. And I'm happy that Target is allowing its fam um, its like employees to enjoy the holidays with family. But I am frustrated because they've never been closed on a holiday ever before besides Christmas. And I know that because I've been to Target on Easter on several occasions. We're gonna live in capitalism. Live it. Let's have it. Let's live it. Or if you're gonna be closed on Easter, be closed on everybody's holidays. And I'm pissed. And I'm pissed. Target. Except for I'm happy for their employees because they deserve it. But I'm pissed. Target. It just won't be the same. Also, I have to pee, which is extremely inconvenient. Ah, uh, nah. Uh, I'm on someone else's college campus. your daughter the other day well that was weird she had rhinoceros shaped earrings in her ears but hey man have a soda it's on the house remember what i told you about the rooms inside this house but you don't love me that's news to me that's news
Yes, it's King Kong. Yes, Miss King Kong. Got six rings on. Uh, while you're making the pierogi, can you please give us an idea of what you think happened on Easter with Jesus and stuff? Jesus and stuff. So. Easter well, isn't the really. day he was resurrected. Christmas was the day he was born. No, Easter was the day he was resurrected, right? But then... What happens on Good Friday? He was killed on his hands. And what happens on Palm Sunday? His little toesies were hot, so they cut down all the palm trees in the village and they put him down so he could walk. He broke out of the cave they put him in. Why did they kill Jesus? He had superpowers and that scared him. Him and his boys got high and had some munchies before. The barbed wire on his head. If I were, if I, if I am thinking clearly, That's one of his right. homies betrayed him. Yeah, one of well. And it was yeah. Judas, right? Yes. Because I know about Judas and the Black Messiah. That, that's the only reason. I know and Lady Gaga. Oh, that, that's just a fun song. A little bit of information on what maybe went down at the Last Supper. They got super high and had munchies, bro. They got fucked up on Jesus' body and his blood. Yeah, like, yeah, the Last Supper is about what um, we're about to have. Something, something, and ding dong. Jesus. He died. For... He suffered, died, and was buried. But here's the thing he came back to life and he didn't stick around. He was just like, he broke the stone. He thinking? was like, and then on his way up, little Naz came down. They like met, oh. they like, they came, yeah. Mm -hmm.